All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Nick Alex here. And today I want to go ahead and make a video a little bit about the lore, um, uh, kind of some perks of, of the new chapter, what I think about the new chapter, and um, some little about the killer's power and how I would kind of fix it a little bit. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to jump into the lore real quick, and then we'll uh, go to perks and all that good stuff. So, Yoonjin Lee's lore, uh, she's a talented music producer. Uh, she got really good, and so they started calling her Magnum Opus. Um, she was working for Mighty Entertainment, making music for a boy band called No Spin. Um, she found uh, the trickster, um, but at the time he was a very regular person, um, and then he started working with No Spin. Uh, fire happened, and the trickster was the only one to survive. And from then on, uh, he kind of started doing his own thing, and she uh, started noticing that bodies were kind of coming after wherever they had been. Um, then Mighty Entertainment decided to possibly cut the trickster because they didn't like his music and didn't think that it was selling good. And um, she fought for him and advocated for him. He did one last job to reform there, and that's when he killed everybody, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. So, the perks. Um, we got self-preservation. Um, so whenever somebody gets hit 12 meters from you, your scratch marks get hidden for 10 seconds, I believe it is. Um, this perk is kind of pointless, really. Um, there's no real need for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's very weird that they would do that. Uh, next perk, fast track. So every time somebody gets hooked, you gain a token. Um, so you can get a max of what? Nine tokens. You're right. Yeah, max of nine tokens all the way. Um, and the token gets consumed um, whenever you get a great skill check, and it gives you one percent bonus progression for skill checks so you can get pretty big max of uh you know points for that if uh if you're the last survivor or um i mean it's 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 decent i guess it's not too bad um and then finally the last one is smash hit this is definitely my favorite one um so whenever you drop a pallet on the killer it'll grant you sprint bursts for a certain amount of seconds, I don't believe, I don't know what it is. It's basically sprint burst afterwards. Um, oh, it's, it's three seconds. So you get sprint burst after three seconds. And um, yeah, you know, I really like the perk. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I actually liked it a lot. Using the PTB, got a few, you know, stuns. And then the, uh, the burst afterwards was actually really interesting. And it's nice to see a new exhaustion perk in the game. So um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to move on to the Trickster's lore now. So, uh, he, the Trickster was working for uh, Mighty Entertainment with the band No Spin. Um, he was very obsessed with wanting to be the best and the most popular. Um, and so, one day, a fire broke out with the band, and he had a chance to save them. But he thought better of it and decided to leave them there to die so that he could be the more famous one. Um, that happened. Everybody, all the papers uh, painted him out to be a hero, and uh, you know the the lone survivor, and and he, everybody loved him for it. Um, well, he started killing after this, and his first one was a college girl. He snuck up into her room, tied her up, tortured her, killed her um, for hours. And then um, he soon found out that Mighty Entertainment was possibly going to cut him. And he was very angry about it, obviously. Um, so he was going to perform one more time to um, appease them, to see if they would not cut him or not. And... When that happened, he poured gas into the room, killing 
everybody. Um, I think he actually kind of spared uh, Yoon Jin Lee a little bit. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. So, uh, moving on to the perks. So, I have Starstruck. So, uh, whenever you're carrying a survivor, any survivors within your terror radius become exposed for 20, 25, 30 seconds. Um, and it has a cooldown for 90 seconds. This is actually pretty decent. Um, it, it's just that the time, I think, could be extended a little bit. Um, because, you know, when you put in the count for carrying a survivor, carrying them to a hook, hooking them, uh, it can get kind of, you know, you may not have a whole bunch left after that. But I have seen people go down straight away because they try to take a hit while being exposed. I have no idea why. I have zero idea why, but hey, whatever. Um, then there's uh, Hex Crowd Control. When a survivor performs a rushed vault through a window, uh, the window becomes blocked. And uh, it, it gets blocked for 14 seconds, and the effect lasts as long as the hex lasts, obviously. Um, it's pretty decent. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, you can pair this with, like, bamboozle, stuff like that, and make, you know, the uh, window be, you know, cut off for even longer. And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. But, yeah. Uh, moving on. My favorite one by far is No Way Out. So... I'm pretty sure it's when you hook each different survivor, kind of like barbecue and chili, you gain a token, I believe it is, and um, you can get a max up to, I think it's 10 seconds each survivor, so you can get a max up to 40 seconds, and during those 40 seconds, when the last gen gets popped, uh, nobody can open an exit gate from then, which is insane. I love it. I love it so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, some of the changes that I would make to his power from what I've seen personally. Um, it, it makes no sense for the um, for, for the power main event for you to have to activate that in a certain amount of time. It should be like Oni, you know, like Oni gains all his blood and then he uses it whenever he wants. I don't understand why it's a requirement for you to, to put it, you know, a certain way, like, just let me use it whenever I want to. <laughs> I don't, I don't get that. Um, the locker animation, I feel like is a bit too long. It may not be, but it just kind of seems like it. Um, it may be the same with Huntress and like, I guess I like, could always use Iron Maiden to reload, but I don't know. I feel like it was a little bit too long, but it's probably not I'm probably just, you know, weirding myself out. Um, also, I don't think that the knives that you have stocked in uh, in your hand whenever you do main event should deplete um, because you already get an unlimited amount of of um, knives anyway. So it doesn't make sense that you would deplete the ones in your hand. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, also, I feel like main event is way too short. There's almost nothing to do with it. Um, I mean, yeah, you get that one down, but if you're already throwing knives at them anyway, and then you go into main event, I mean, was I mean, there's no real reason to use it. I mean, there was no real point for it. Also, it, it you need to be sped up. Like, I feel like you need to be sped up during main event. Like, this is your power. You're, you're supposed to be. This is supposed to be the turning point. And um, if main event is the the big, the literally what it says, the main event. Um, it doesn't make sense for you to just be going a little bit, uh, you know, you don't have no, no stoppage from whenever you start. I feel like you should be sped up a little bit more. You should have a little bit more invigoration to get the kill. Um, that's just me. That's just some of the things that I personally had. Um, I honestly don't think that he's really that bad of a killer. I think he's kind of average. Um, to get really good with him, he can be pretty lethal, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think this chapter is pretty good. I really do enjoy it. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.